23rd. Oh my gosh, we only have one more day after this. Portado. Oh, this is, we got one that was like this, but it was, um. Portado, like Nelly? Oh my God. It was, um, the one before was decaf. This one's not decaf. So, let's go try this. And then look, we have one. Wait, do we? Why was this? Oh, okay. oh my gosh. We did all the, all we have is this one less one for tomorrow. Look. The big one. How about Christmas Day? It doesn't give one for the 25th. It's up to 24 days. Uh. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm about to make some black pepper chicken. So I got onions, garlic, pepper, and then we have chicken. And I'm actually gonna marinate the chicken right now. I have uh, the heat going for the stove right now. Okay, I think you can see. <laughs> okay. Um, by the way, I'm not gonna dirty up a bowl, a marinating bowl. I'm just gonna use the plastic that the chicken came in. But I have some Shaoxing wine. I don't know how to say this. I think it's Shaoxing wine. And I'm gonna do, uh, I think I'm gonna do like two tablespoons. One. Two and some soy sauce, and I'm just gonna do equal parts. One, two. I think I'll do another one for good measure. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so hard. <laughs> Okay, give me one second. And then I'm gonna do some cornstarch. Oh my gosh, I'm running a little. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to save the rest of the cornstarch. You're supposed to do equal parts of cornstarch too, but that's fine. It'll still be good no matter what. I'm gonna get out of mix and I'm gonna let it sit while I have this pan heating up. I do have a wok, but I don't want the wok to get too crowded because it's kind of a small wok. So I'm using my always pan. But I have my always pan heating up. Now we're just going to let the chicken sit for a bit, for like probably 10 minutes. So this is the chicken stock. So we need four tablespoons of light soy sauce. Okay, so it says four tablespoons of light soy sauce. Four tablespoons of the chassis wine. I don't even think we'll have enough. We're running low. That's okay. I always make it work. Okay, that was only two. It's okay. It's fine. And then two teaspoons of dark soy sauce. This is the dark soy sauce. Two teaspoons. Let me just put... This is still the tablespoon measure, but... I'll just put what I think. I eyeball it, guys. I really don't bring out a tablespoon. I don't know why I brought this out. I never really do it. And then it says a tablespoon of cornstarch. I do not have, or it says two tablespoons. Okay. I don't have much cornstarch left. So I'm just gonna use the remaining cornstarch I have. But it does say sugar, um, sugar and salt, and the pepper, of course. So I did crush the pepper, as you guys seen, and I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna put a lot. 
because that's going to be super good. And then, so it says to use sugar, but I don't want to use like regular sugar, so I'm going to use some palm sugar. You can get this at the Asian store. Oh, this smells so good. I always put the cornstarch in last. I don't know why. I always just put it in last and let it dissolve. So I'm gonna just put this much of the palm sugar in. Not too much. Well, I could use actually the spoon now. And then it did say some salt. I have some flaky sea salt right here, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. Okay. The chicken broth is a bit warm, so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is on my pan right here, I'm going to oil it. You really should be using probably a wok, but. I'm not. Okay, so I'm gonna oil it up and let it heat up the oil a bit. All right, and I got my chicken that was marinating on the skillet. If you have a bigger skillet, I would recommend using it because you really don't want overcrowding, but I've made it before in this pot and it worked out and it still was good. Um, but I'm just gonna let this sit and cook. Okay, so I should have put this chicken aside but I'm too lazy, so I'm actually just gonna throw all the veggies in right now and let it cook still with the chicken in. But in the recipe, you're actually supposed to take the chicken out when it's done cooking, put the veggies in, saute the veggies on its own, but I just don't wanna do that, so I'm actually going to just saute the veggies in. All right, also I'm gonna put the leftover cornstarch I have in the, where we had the sauce, remember? And then I'm gonna mix it up. You wanna mix it up so it's, uh, oh sorry. You wanna mix it up well in here. Pour that into the pan when your cornstarch is mixed thoroughly. And it should thicken up. And I got a lot of peppercorns still in here. All right guys, I forgot to show you that I added a heap of coriander. I really love coriander. It's not in the recipe, but I just feel like every dish is just amazing with coriander. So I always add a bunch. Um, it's my favorite herb. So I'm mixing it in here, but look at that. Oh my God, the sauce is nice and thick. And it smells so good, so we're about to go eat this. This is this has become one of my favorite meals to make. It's super easy, and it's just over a bed of rice is the best way to eat it. So we're going to eat dinner now, and I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. This was my day 23. I wanted to make it super simple recipe for you guys. Hold on, let me get my light so y'all can see. Look at how delicious that looks, oh my gosh. So stinking good. Better than takeout, honestly.